Uh, Stand of the Cat by Charlie Cochran. Uh, for my dear departed brother Benny, and believe it or not, this is actually a true story. Benny and Tony are on the piss. Janice away. Now all is bliss. But before she went, she left instructions. Keep the music down. We don't want ructions. Don't get drunk, crack the brat. But most important, look after my cat. The boys are happy and everything's fine. They've polished off ten bottles of wine. Now they're comet tools, the world's asleep. But the cat's gone missing. Someone will weep. Woke up in the morning with heads like thunder. The cat's not around. Where is he, I wonder? They're bleary-eyed and they've got the shakes. Must find the cat or he'll seal our fate. They search the parks, pavements and lanes. Mission impossible. It's driving them insane. Let's grab any cat that looks like Sandy. Janet won't know. It might work out handy. So the boys went out and scoured the streets till they found a cat that would meet their needs. The cat is black and looks good so far, except it has a little white star. You mean that little white spot under his chin? We'll paint over that and start again. Looks very much like the one we lost. It's 50-50. Hope I win the toss. Now Janet comes home and walks in the door with astonished eyes Benny has never seen before. Now please explain what is that? That, my dear, is your beloved cat. My cat, my cat, you lousy rat! That is not my fucking cat! Are you blind or can't you see? The little beast won't even come to me! And another thing, you drunken sword, my cat is male and she is not! Now, leave this house and don't come back till the moon is blue or you found my cat. Now take this cat to its rightful home. Leave Tony behind and come home alone. My little dog Ollie here. Ollie, what do you think of the cat? <laughs>